What happened since the onset of COVID-19 pandemic as it relates to the common cold? Did you notice? Random Grenadians were asked, what is the last time you remember having the flu? Here are some feedbacks from the public. Yeah, um, let me say about six months ago. Yeah, that was the last time I had the cold. Whenever you have a um, large gathering like Carnival or Christmas, they used to have this cold going around. And a lot of people catch that cold, including me. But since after the COVID, since the COVID coming, the cold kind of gets scarce because we don't have so much a large gathering as before. Yeah, yeah, a couple of months now I have the cold. It's used my little vitamin C and I suck a lot of oranges. And well, I'm a fisherman, so I'm in the sea regular, so all of that part of it. School is one place where transmission of contagious viruses and diseases are prevalent. The common cold is one such virus that passes from one child to another through interactions. However, teacher at the Grand Mall Preschool, Ms. Alexander, says she too has noticed that the students have not been down with the cold in a long time. Funny, it's amazing that, you know, since COVID, you know, you don't see them come in with the cold or have any runny nose or so. So I'm, I don't know, I'm surprised. It's a good feeling because when they have the cold, they have to stay at home. But now that they don't have the cold, they come to school when they're supposed to. Speaking to Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Dr. Francis Martin, he said that the mode of transmission for influenza or flu is similar to that of COVID-19. They have seen a drastic reduction. From our epidemiological surveillance for the last few months, uh, um, during the typical cold season or the virus season, we saw a significant drop in the diagnosis of upper respiratory tract infection, fevers of unknown origin, um, even to a certain extent gastroenteritis. One may consider it a positive side to COVID-19. Here's how Dr. Martin rationalizes his findings. And I think the reason for that is because um, the wearing of masks is quite significant. It prevents droplets from getting aerosolized and getting droplets to um, infect other people. The washing of hands um, decreases the transmission rate from bacteria and viruses. And also the kind of limitation, limited movements, limited uh, or physical distances, as we said, even before COVID, we were saying to people, if you have a flu or a cold, stay at home. Don't go anywhere, but COVID has actually forced us to do it. And I think that is the benefit and the knock on effect that we have seen as a result of COVID. He thanked the populace for entrusting them with their efforts in keeping the country safe. Christina John, GBN News.